This is the story of Dr. Arthur Guyton. So Guyton Hall, host the School of Education, is actually named for Dr. Dr. Arthur Guyton's father, Dr. Billy Guyton, who was dean of our medical school in the 1930s and early 1940s when it was still a two-year school here on the Oxford campus. Dr. Billy Guyton is a hero in his own right, but that's another story for another day. Dr. Arthur Guyton, his son, uh, did his undergraduate years here at Ole Miss and then went to medical school at Harvard. Uh, was a very, very bright and promising uh, physician. Finished medical school at Harvard and was doing a residency in surgery when sadly uh, contracted polio. Uh, lost the use of his arms and legs and could not continue his surgery residency because of his physical disabilities. He took a period of recovery and then moved back here to Oxford and then eventually was offered the opportunity to teach in the medical school and became the chair of the Department of Physiology, one of the basic sciences in medicine. Now, Dr. Guyton didn't have a degree in physiology. He had a medical degree, and it was unusual for somebody without a degree in physiology to be placed in this important leadership role. But there he was as a young man, handicapped in a time when handicapped people typically didn't work in the workplace. He was disabled in a, in a very significant way. Uh, but he took on this responsibility of teaching physiology and leading the physiology department uh, right here on our campus, uh, down in what is now uh, Guyton Hall, was housing the medical school then. In his early lectures, he kept notes. And then uh, he was using a, a textbook of physiology that he didn't, didn't think really met the needs of the students. And so he took his notes and wrote a textbook. And that textbook, Guyton's textbook of physiology, has become not only the best-selling textbook of physiology used by medical students, but we believe uh, that textbook has been used by more medical students around the world than any other medical textbook. Dr. Guyton has put the University of Mississippi on the map uh, through his writing of that textbook of physiology. Now, uh, many years later, uh, that Guyton's textbook of physiology is still being written by a University of Mississippi faculty member, Dr. John Hall, who chairs that department now on our Medical Center campus, is the author of that textbook and inherited that uh, role from Dr. Guyton.